can't throw bowling balls at us? Of course I can. It says it right here, right in the book of Bratwurst. Woe if there be one among you who doth not follow the way of the schnitzel, then let that one go, and do not throw bowling balls at them. Well, see? It says to let us go. Eh, it's a matter of interpretation. <laughs> and with that said, welcome back, my friends. This is AMF1534, giving you your daily dose of Rocco's Modern Life quotes here in the world of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Okay, and now we're up, up, and away! Now we just gotta get an armored van and respray it with the Caligula's Casino logo. Why don't we steal one while it's on its rounds? That way we can make some money, too. Nah, I don't want to get the crew caught up in some street-level jack and it could get up. Um, I, I have an idea. Um, have you ever seen those helicopters they use to lift heavy loads? Yeah, they call them sky <laughs> Heavy loads. We could lift the whole truck and take them to someplace safe. Then we need to steal a sky crane. Unfortunately, I'm not a pilot. You don't say. Uh, oh, either. gross. What's up with his hey, neck? Did you see that? It was all bendy and shit. That was creepy. Jeez. Oh, woozy. You are I one fly, strange man. man, my friend. You could respray it at the airstrip. Yeah, Carl. It'll be just like fighting Berkeley, only bigger. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, yes, it'll be like fighting Berkeley when I had to do the whole damn thing by myself while you sat there driving around in a buggy ordering me around. Oh, Carl, could you please move this for me? Because I can't I can do anything for myself. Steal the helicopter from the military fuel dump. Oh, God. It only accepts military vehicles? Dude, come on. I really hope this is a situation where there's going to be military-type vehicles where we're going. Otherwise, this is going to be... Like, I can totally see this mission being, you know, the type that's like, Well, I really hope that you've uh, taken the liberty of exploring our fine city for... If you have not taken the liberty to do that, you're going to have quite a hard time finishing this uh, this mission because this is going to be the one time during your stay in this area that you will have to procure the one uh, military-grade Humvee that is sitting in an abandoned parking lot by a casino. <laughs> you know, that's that, that game totally would make you do that sort of thing. But I digress. Hopefully it doesn't happen that way and we can just take it. Because I don't really want to have to, uh, I don't want to have to consult, like, a walkthrough on where to find one of those damn things. I mean, call me crazy, but I, I do enjoy doing these, uh, these walkthroughs in an organic fashion. Not those damn GMO-laden ones. <laughs> but seriously, I, I do like not having to consult walkthroughs for things. Unless totally necessary. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. And by the way, it, it totally just hit me... Uh, earlier today, that uh, that this uh, this particular this particular series, the the San Andreas of the Grand Theft Auto variety, has totally become my second longest Let's Play series that I've ever done. Believe it or not, uh, it just it was like a few episodes ago actually. It it overtook Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, that that was previously sitting at number two after uh, Gran Turismo 2 had overtaken it at 141 videos. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy was at 71, and I think that on this one we're, we're, uh, we're clocking in at either like 78 or 79 now. So it's getting pretty it's getting pretty long, man. Like, this one, it's so much longer than uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Like, it's, it's actually gonna almost, uh, like those two games combined are about to be as long as this one. Oh, sick, oh, awesome. Please tell me I can stop him. Please tell me I can stop him. Don't crash into it. Oh, no! 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 Oh, no! He's gonna get away! Oh, no! Oh, come on. Of course he'd be one of those assholes. Oh! I don't need anyone to do anything! I'm just gonna do whatever I want because I'm a Humvee man! Yeah, I don't need to follow the laws of the road because I'm fighting for America. I got my guns and yeah! <laughs> Oh god, I should have known this was gonna happen. It's like turning into last episode all over again with me having to chase this guy down. Oh no. Come back here, you ingrate! I must have your vehicle! Please! You don't understand what it means to me! No. Damn it, no! Stay in one place! As I go by my old girlfriend's house that I totally murdered her in cold blood out in broad daylight. Come on! Stay there! Please! Let me have it. Let me... No! Get in the car! God, where is he going? Yes! Get out of here, Corporal. Dad is gonna go shopping up his field knife. Alright, here we go. We're good. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
Oh, I was thinking that was going to be, like, a much larger chore than it ended up being. And somehow we didn't get a wanted level out of that. I would have totally thought we, uh... We pulled a military official out of his car, punched him in the face, and then stole his vehicle. Normally, I feel like that would, uh, that would definitely land you right in jail. Right in good old federal butt-pounding jail. But, you know, maybe not. Instead, we're just gonna, you know, steal his vehicle and then just turn people into road pancakes on the way. So that we can go do some more shady things. Open up! Open wide! Yeah, we're here. This is a restricted area. Well, yeah, of course it is. Oh god, okay, yep, they're not happy. They know. You took Dean's car! We're so upset! Oh god, okay, we're here, we're here. They are not happy. They are absolutely not happy with this. Come on, come on, come on, Carl, go. Oh, we can't take that! Oh no, this is bad, this is really bad. This is the worst thing. We have really done it now. Oh, Carl, what have you done? Where are we supposed to go? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Oh god. Who's shooting at me? Okay, well I know those guys are shooting at me, but that's a, that's a different story. At least they can't hit me from over there. How do I... Where am I supposed to be going right now? I don't really... I'm not sure that I'm really familiar... Oh boy. This is gonna be... This is gonna be really bad, man. This is gonna be extremely bad. Who? What? Where? How are people hitting me right now? There's nowhere to shoot at me. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, come on! Oh. <sighs> well, there's that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very, very different scenario there. Okay. Well, okay, you know, just so, just so we don't have to deal with the whole process of failing this horribly over and over again, I think that I actually am going to consult a walkthrough for this. I, I can see this getting so ugly so fast if we don't do this the right way. So, uh, give me just a minute here. Let's go, let's go accept our mission again. Even though I could, if I really wanted to, I could have just cut it off and not really had to deal with it, but we'll, uh, we'll just, we'll just do it. And then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check a walkthrough okay, for this, just because I'd really rather not have an episode that involves us not getting anywhere at all. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go check this out, and then I will be right back, and then uh, we'll we'll take this damn thing down together. Okay, so I dude I checked this out. This is <laughs> I don't know how I didn't think of this. This is such an awesome idea for oh boy. Okay, there we go. I was like, man, how the hell are you not moving right now? So, dude, this is absolutely the coolest way to go about doing this mission. I can't believe that I didn't think about this. So, you don't even actually need a military vehicle to go into this place. If you have the jetpack, you can actually, you can actually fly over the wall, and then you'll just be in there already. So, that already is 100% probably the coolest idea. Unfortunately, it's going to take us a couple minutes to get down over there, but you know what? We will, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take care of it when we get there. So, I didn't actually, I didn't actually, uh, look to see what we're supposed to do, like, once we get in. Like, all I know is, like, once we go, uh, well, okay, I, I guess I do know a little bit of what we do once we get in. Instead of going where I was headed, which was into that garage with God knows how many soldiers in there, um, you actually go up on the roof of the building that's like directly in front of the in front of the gate So that's actually I, I definitely was not headed the right way at any point during that so <laughs> oh Man, I, I know that I, I hate being the guy that it consults a walkthrough during like a during a series like this But you know, I personally don't think that I was going to end up finding a way to get through this properly <laughs> So you know sometimes in the spirit of progress you got to do what you got to do a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Wise words from Tommy Pickles, who was actually voiced by a girl, which is weird to think about. So, all right, spiny bed ahoy! Here we go. So all you gotta do, see, there's the chopper right up there on that building. It's right over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go fly up above. Yeah, and see if you fly up, if you fly up above, they won't even know that you're coming in. That's like the best part. They're just like, oh, well, hey, look up there! Look up there, Dean! Did you did you see it? Did you did you see that that beautiful shooting star? Oh god, oh god, okay. Enough, enough, Carl, enough. What the hell's going on right now? 
Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Get out of the stupid thing, man. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, what, what's what's this thing all about? Can we... Ah! No! No! We're gonna... No! We got... No! We got... Ah! Whoa! Whoa! No! Oh! Kill him! Oh no! We're dead again! Ah! Ah! Crap. It would have been nice if we could have taken the damn thing off. But no! No, why would it let me do that? I was trying to take the stupid jetpack off so we could actually run instead of just being a sitting duck in that area. But whatever. Alright, well, let's do it again. Okay, here we are. Back for round three. Damn it. God. Even when I cheat, I still can't win. It's like the game just giving me a giant, like, middle finger-sized sign saying, Ah, you're gonna try to take the easy way out. Well, guess what? I got news for you. You can shove that one right where you crap. <laughs> you know? Well, we're gonna get it, though. We're, we're going to. I'm, I'm feeling confident about it. What needs to happen is I just... I have to... I have to kill all the people that are up on the roof, like, ASAP. Like, there's definitely that guy that's guarding, uh, that chain gun that we need to take down those gunships. But I could I could have sworn that there were a couple of other people, like, up by where the helicopter was that were shooting at me, too. So I think I might need to take them out. It's just like, what, for some reason, even when I land on the building, I can't take... I can't, like, switch my weapons or anything. Like, it just won't let me do it for some reason. It's really stupid. But, oh, God. Okay, speaking of, speaking of crap, I totally, totally almost shit my pants this morning. <laughs> I, I know, it's, it sounds pretty gross. And uh, it almost was. So, I had to wake up at, like, 7.30 this morning. We had, like, a business training uh, with this company that we're going to start carrying their products pretty soon. And uh, I had to go up to Woodburn for the meeting. It was like just like this little breakfast training. They had like fruit and muffins and coffee and whatnot, and uh, so I had to drive. It was like a like a it's like a 20, 20 minute drive from where I'm at uh, to get there, and so I get up there and I like I start driving and I get about halfway there, and uh, then I all of a sudden I get hit with that urge that oh dear God I have to <laughs> I really have to take a crap right now. I was like well, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll just have to wait until I get there. Aha! There were other people up here. Oh no. Well, all of our armor's gone, so that's gonna be a nightmare. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Kill the man, damn it! Take the stupid thing off! God, that's what I need. I can't shoot him! It's like not letting me shoot him. Come on. God, just kill the guy! For the love! Okay, he's dead. There's a guy up there. He is now also dead. I really, really hope that this works. But I've got a really bad feeling that it's not going to, because he won't take the stupid thing off! God, just take the suit off, man! There we go. Okay. Oh, there's another guy right there. Well, that's not good. Aha. No wonder why I died. There was a guy behind me that was shooting at me. Come on, come on. Please tell me this will do it. Please tell me this will do it. Get to the gun, Carl! Come on! Come on! Take him down, Carl! Please! Please take him down! <laughs> oh, I can't take it anymore! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, you're not gonna live now, you fools! Oh, man, this is great. I really could go for some health right now, though. Please tell me there's no one else up here. Please tell me there's no one else up here. Please tell me there's no one else up here. I can't take it. I can't take the fear of rejection. Go. Get in the thing, Carl, please. Yeah, we're going to do it. We are absolutely going to get away with this. So down. I have no idea how to use the winch thing, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm a, I'm a nice, intuitive young man. So yeah, so I, I'm driving up there and I get about halfway and then all of a sudden I'm just like totally stricken with that, uh, with that, that feeling just right down in like the, like right in the bottom part of your stomach. You're like, oh god, oh god, I really have to shit. And like the very second that I hit that moment in my head is when all of a sudden all the traffic starts piling up everywhere. You got all the cars, they start slowing down. And everybody just like stops moving, and I'm just like, dude, come on, I don't have time for this. And I still had like, I still have like a solid probably like 10 miles left to drive, 
and I'm just sitting here like trying to think about any anything else that I can to try to take my mind off of it. And dude, I'm just like, oh, I can't take it, I can't take it. And like, I get I get like this little open area, and so I just start barreling through it. And then I get then there's like these two cars that they're uh, they're they're both driving in the same lane, but the car that was behind it decides, well, I'm gonna switch lanes, and so he switched lanes, and now I'm blocked off, and I can't go any faster. And he ends up driving the same exact speed as the other uh, as the other car in the other lane. It's like they knew I was coming, and that I really, really needed, you know, to unload some freight, if you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, they just, like, totally wouldn't let me... They wouldn't let me buy or anything. Come on, come on, baby, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Let's move! Let's move, baby! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. You got you gotta raise up. North Carolina, come on and raise up with the armored van. <laughs> that is... That is... No, oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, Carl. Get some altitude under that thing. There we go. Because, you know, there is nothing, nothing obvious about what's going on right now or anything. <laughs> no, Nobody's going to look up and be like, Hey, Mommy, look at that helicopter toting a giant car! Oh, don't worry, Sally. That's normal. They do that every Thursday night at 4 in the morning. <laughs> But, um, yeah, dude, it was just like, it's like they knew, they knew that I, that I had somewhere to go and that I needed to, that I needed to get there. But on the plus side, I had hit, like, every single green light on the way there, except for the very last one. It's like the one at the giant intersection where you gotta let every single other bit of traffic go beside yourself. And I'm sitting there, like, my mom's driving right behind me, and, like, I'm, the whole drive, I was, like, trying not to, you know, drive super fast and reckless, like like a total asshole, because I'm not trying to have that conversation with her later of, of, Adam, you need to not be driving really fast like that, you're gonna get yourself really hurt someday. And, uh, I was like, yeah, whatever, right, and, and she's, like, right behind me at this light, and I was, I was just, like, at that breaking point where I knew that I was probably inside of two minutes before I was about to hit critical mass, <laughs> and it was just gonna be, you know, the brown streak of, of, of doom everywhere, and I was just gonna have to, like, turn around and go back home. Because God knows you can't sit through a breakfast training with a giant load of shit in your pants. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. And uh, and so all of a sudden, um, the, the light turns green, and I just slammed on the gas. Like I actually like peeled out in the in the middle of the intersection to like get across the street so that I could go get in the parking lot and get into my store so I could go and just absolutely just obliterate the bathroom. So awful though, dude. It was so bad. And like. I pulled into my parking spot and I, I ran to the store and I unlocked it and I could I I kind of like looked back as soon as I got into the store and my mom looked in at me and she's like she like looks at me and just kind of gives me that just that that really just kind of disappointed head shake of just oh, this is my son <laughs> what the hell is he doing oh god okay pull it back pull it back pull it back Carl pull it back Carly Carl you got this son. You got it. We've done this before. You are very well versed in dropping, doing Operation Dumbo Drop. Here we go. Oh yeah, all right. We done did it, yeah! Dun, 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 dun. Look at that! <laughs> With that giant magnet just laying on the ground. Hey, CJ, you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Good looking. Where's Woozy? I ain't to turn the know. notifications off down there. Here himself. It could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, dude, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. All right. <laughs> Apparently, that guy decided he was gonna play Super Hexagon. Immediately quit and then opened the thing right back up again. <laughs> Not like I haven't done that before, but still, it's just funny seeing it on the other side. All right, my friends, we did it. We got out of it alive after three attempts, but third time's always the charm. Unless you know, it would have been it would have been ideal to have gotten it done the correct way. But the, like thinking about it now, like like how would you get up on the roof up there? Like when you actually drive the vehicle in? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to visualize how that happens because you drive it in. You, you get out of the car, people are already shooting at you, you go into like that hangar, which looked like the only building that was open, do you have to literally go in there and kill everybody inside of that building? 
and then, you know, maybe take like a, you know, go out the back door and go up a flight of stairs up to the back of that building? Like, is that how it's supposed to be done? Because that, that is insane. Like, that would be such a way harder way to do that. I'm so glad that the jetpack thing actually worked. So, with that said, my friends, it looks like we are going to head back over that direction in the next episode. Um, oh, wait a minute. That was the last one. That was the last mission for that. Sick. Okay, so we get to do a new mission next time. We get to go to the we get to go to the uh, to the Snake Eye right here. We get to go to Caligula's Palace and uh, see what happens with that. Because I don't think that I think that the the red S is just like the 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 flying school missions. So yeah, we get to do something new next time. All right. Until then, my friends, this is your host AMF 1534 saying thank you guys for watching and uh, enduring the struggle with me, even though I tried to cheat and it didn't work. <laughs> but then it did. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.